Okay, here's a rotoverter motor, 7.5 ball door, uh, and it's got a sort of a Muller generator on the shaft of it, and it creates AC current at 60 hertz as it spins so that you can run a second motor with the output of the generator or uh, hopefully you can actually run the motor itself uh, with the generator so it'll loop. Here's one bank of coils right here. Uh, eight coils, air cord, Here's the rotor. Eight magnets. The magnets go north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around. So as it spins against the coils, it'll make an AC current. Okay, so uh, these are all going to be wired in series and in phase. And so the uh, uh, rotor slips on here, spins as close as you can get to the coils. And then there's another bank of coils. It's a 18 gauge wire, 116 feet of the wire. And this goes on here. So that's the generator. Should make over 100 volts. Pretty good amps because the wire is so thick. Okay, so that's the generator on the shaft. Okay, the output from the generator is going to go into these two wires and it's going to hit two full wave bridges wired together in parallel. Here's one full wave bridge, here's the other one. Here's the two feed wires. So, now we can follow the uh, circuit from here as it goes through this uh, bank of uh, solid state relays. Okay, uh, this relay, this re these two relays here are normally on, switch off. This, these two relays are the same, normally on, switch off. These are normally off switch on, normally off, switch on. These two relays actually send the pulse from the capacitor bank into the uh, AC output going one way. This capacitor bank is switched in with these two going the other way. And that creates your AC. The caps are cut on both the positive and negative sides of them uh, and they're also connected on both sides too when they discharge. This is the timing disc on the back of the motor right here. As the motor spins this revolves. Uh, you can see this blue here, blue lines here. There's a little a row of small magnets right along here that create like a full length magnet that length so that the Hall effects right here and right here will turn on when that uh, passes by. So I have two Hall effects at 90 degrees so it'll like pulse this bank, the top bank on the right side, comes around, pulses the other bank on the other side, and then this one comes around, does this side, and then this side. So you can create a AC current this way when you have the discharge of the two capacitor banks going in opposite directions. The uh, Hall effect right inside here. Here's the little row of magnets here. There's actually two Hall effects and they're butted up against each other like this and the magnets go right down the middle where they're butted up against so that 
these magnets actually trip two Hall effects at the same time. And same was on the other side too. And so one Hall effect uh, will send a signal to turn these uh, turn the solid state relays uh, from off to on and the other one sends a signal to send them from that they're already on and then they go off so the idea is that this the capacitors hold on a sec okay so the way it works is from a full way bridge back here that'll fill up this capacitor when these two switches are on and the switches are closed as long as they're closed it's going to fill up so when these are and they're closed most of the time so the capacitor fills up same thing happens on the other side to the other full way bridge these fill up when these two switches are on closed which same as closed now once you want to discharge this capacitor, you want to isolate that capacitor from the generator coils in the bridge. You want the capacitor only to be hitting the load. So at that, that exact time, these two, uh, if this discharges, these two will disconnect. If this discharges, these two will disconnect. And beauty of the two full-way bridges is that during the disconnect, you can still be filling up capacitors. There's not going to be a time where no capacitors will be filled by the generator coils because they're disconnected. Instead, the opposite capacitor bank fills up because of the two full-way bridges. Okay, I'll, I want to show you uh, by the LED lights going on of these MOSFETs exactly what's going on.